Good evening. So I'm going to be having a great conversation with Paul this evening. Hi. Yay. Paul is here. Hi. Beautiful. So I'm just going to add him straight away. Awesome. So just keep that hat coming and get your questions ready, okay? Hi, Paul. Are you there? How's everyone doing? Awesome. Hi there. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Not bad. I'm doing great. Yourself? Very well. I'm glad to speak. Awesome. So it's so good to see you this evening and it's good to be having this conversation with you. So Thank we'll just get right much. into it, right? The sales yeah. guru himself. <laughs> <laughs> I try. Okay. Awesome. So just for the benefit of everyone joining us this evening, uh, someone is saying, is that it? Yes, that's my daughter shouting in the background. So she's my co-host for today. Okay, so good evening to everyone joining us today. As you all know, my name is Bukia Shainle, the founder of Bella Africana, popularly known as the creative mother hen. And what we do at Bella Africana is pretty much to empower, support, and connect creative businesses to their global consumers. You know, we've created a community to enable creative businesses to thrive. Okay, and this evening I'm going to be speaking with Mr. Paul, um, he is Nigeria's, I love it when he calls himself Nigeria's number one sales coach. So I'm not even going to give you all his biography tonight. I will allow him to do justice to that, okay, this evening. <laughs> so let's just meet you. Uh, let's just have a quick introduction before we go into questions and answer. Okay. My name is Paul Fo. I am a I'm a sales coach. I run a company called um, the Sales Factory Africa. We recruit sales people for organizations. I coach entrepreneurs, especially women entrepreneurs. Um, for yeah, I have thirty-three thousand followers on Instagram, for example. Fifteen percent, sixteen percent, fifty-five percent of my followers are women entrepreneurs. Aha. I have, yes, I have a paid Telegram group of 347 entrepreneurs. 90% of them are women entrepreneurs from all over the world. So I'm very clear about my target market. Um, yeah, so um, what else? Yeah, I've been married for 13 years. I'm an amazing woman. Uh, and uh, my wife is my best friend. We have three children together. My first son is 11. My second son is 10. My third son is 7. I'm a very family-oriented person. I've written six books. Um, I've been on CNN, taught at the Lagos Business School twice on the subject of selling. Yeah. So that's a little bit awesome. about uh, I me. Mean, I love to read. I enjoy reading a lot. I'm a, I'm a bookaholic. Yeah. <laughs> I enjoy it. Bookaholic. I love yeah. that word. <laughs> yeah, I'm obsessed with reading. Yeah, so here. Yeah. I love it. That's, that's an amazing thing. It's, it's awesome to yeah. be obsessed about reading. It opens your mind yeah. up to endless possibilities. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you so much for that detailed yeah. introduction, okay? So, mm -hmm. I mean, for the benefit of everyone joining us now, the, the topic of discussion is on how to make your first $10,000. We're not talking error. $10,000 in sales during and after this pandemic, Okay. So I'll just go ahead and start my questions, okay? Just for the benefit of everyone joining us here, please feel free to ask your questions, okay? Drop your questions in the comment section. We're going to be looking at it and answering it as we go along. Okay, Paul, are you ready? Yeah. All right, awesome. So to my first question, right? What, what does the term sales, what does it mean to you? I know that everyone understands and hears it on a daily basis, but what does it mean to you? Well, to me, there are two dimensions to it. Number one is it's about the transference of certainty. It's a transference of certainty that I believe this is avian water. It's 900 naira. Mm -hmm. I bought it just around my office here in, in, in Ikoi, off body room. Why would you sell water for 900 naira? And people are buying <laughs> 900 naira. I already wow. Yeah. It's a certainty they believe. It's a transference. This is Starbucks coffee. I drink coffee a lot. This is like 
like seven dollars if you travel. Six, seven dollars. And you can make it for six cents at home. Mm-hmm. What? It's a certainty. It's that transparency, that belief in what you are selling. You transpire the enthusiasm from yourself to another person. The second dimension of the meaning of sales is it's about value. It's convincing and persuading another person that what you are selling to them has more value than the money that the person has in their pocket. You see, life is about the... Ex- the only reason why people buy is when they perceive that this is my money, but what I will get from your product will be more than the money I'm giving to you. That's only when exchange takes place. Now, this is 900... This is 900 naira. What I'm getting from this is, number one, is a signal. It's a signaling to my clients that I'm a person of status. It's a signal to my clients that I'm in your world. It's a signal to my high-profile clients. So it's more than 900 naira. It's a statement. So the 900 naira cannot be compared to the water in this bottle. That is what selling is about. You have to convince them to, to know that this is, this is what it costs. But what you are getting is more than what it costs. That is when buying takes place. Now, if the customers don't see that, then it is not their fault. It is the seller's fault. That is what sales hmm. is about to me. And it's not marketing as well. Because marketing and sales are not the same thing. Exactly. I was about to just say that. Can you just quickly tell the difference? Tell us the difference. Because, I mean, most times people are like, oh, sales and marketing. But they don't exactly understand the difference between the two. Okay, let me just make it very simple for everybody. Yes. Marketing is everything that you do or say that triggers another person to jump on the phone to talk to you, knock on your office door, send you a DM. You trigger them to make an inquiry. Somebody saw your billboard, they liked it, they placed a call to Bella Africana, that billboard is marketing. What your salesperson does on the phone to convert that attention into money, that is sales. Marketing Mm. is attention. Sales is the conversion of that attention into paying customers. The reason why you will pick me to be in this, in this call, I'm not the only person shouting about sales in Nigeria. But why did you pick me? I didn't beg you people now. Did I call you? <laughs> you will call me now. And that means there's something about my marketing that is working. Period. That is it. Shikela, Jambo, Finito. <laughs> Stephanie. Yes. Excellent. So marketing is attention. Sales is what you do to convert that attention. So next question. How, impo- how important would you say sales is to a business? So important. It's a lifeblood. It's a lifeblood. <laughs> so let me tell like, them. Please like, say it like, again. Like if you don't say you're in trouble. And the problem with creative, you deal with creative, they're ashamed of selling. That's a, that's a scary Wait, thing. wait, wait. It's not even the ashamed. It's the fact that they don't even get to think about it as much as they think about producing. Yes. You know, a creative mind is always thinking of producing. But in fact, that's one of the things that drives what we no, do. No, no, no. The validation of your creativity that somebody bought. You know, that's so your please validation. help help us. Help us. Ah. Help us explain it. If nobody buys Beyonce's album, you won't call her Beyonce. It's the sales that made her Beyonce. Mm. So if you're not selling, you're just a producer. Your factory is full, but the market is empty. 
আমার
It will mm -hmm. increase the libido of your husband so that your sexual fire will increase. Instantly, you have moved yourself from just a food seller to an expert. To an expert. Some children, some parents in this Lagos, they have special needs children. Some people have autistic children in this Lagos. Hmm. There is a particular food that can calm that child down. You that hmm. sell food, you should research it. And teach it. it. When you research it and teach it, you are positioned yourself. Ah, ah Renee, Renee is watching me. Renee, hey, nice. Thanks for joining us. I don't know Renee, yeah. but hi, <laughs> Renee. <laughs> Yeah, so immediately, hmm. people begin to see that ah, this woman is not just a food seller. She's an expert. She's an expert. So tomorrow, if their grandmother is not eating, they will come to your Instagram site. Yes. They will check you out because you, you become are top of mind. Than... Yes, top mm -hmm. of mind. But you know the funny thing? Most creatives are lazy, my dear. Mm -hmm. They are lazy. Their mm. work ethic is, 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 is appalling. Appalling. They don't have sex time to even work. They don't post content consistently. They post it as they are led by the Holy Ghost. They post as they are led by the Holy Ghost. Hey. Can you rent a shop in Lekki Faison or in Kui and you open the shop only when you are led by the Holy Ghost? Does shop rights open when they are led by the Holy Ghost? Does they have used to pay. When they are led by the Holy Ghost. You know, you people have confused God. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's a, it's a problem. <laughs> they are just lazy people, honestly. I'm sorry, I'm calling some of you out. Eh? No work ethic. These creative people, they give you creative a bad name. That's why I'm telling every, every creative to read this book, Deep Work. I just finished reading it. Deep Work. Every, hmm. Yes. My 11-year-old son just finished it as, as, as well. My son. My 11-year-old son. I, tell you, I told him, why are you always staying in the toilet for so long? Why? See, Daddy, I'm, I'm always reading this book. I just finished the book. He reads in the toilet. I've never, that's very weird to be strange. But hey. <laughs> so now I'm keeping books there. Yeah, it's a good book for creatives. Beautiful. It's to have log time, work time. It's a very mm. good book. Deep work. I told you. I I'll read it and I'll lot. ensure the community does too. Beautiful. You know, so now we are even reviewing it in the group. We just reviewed 50 Cent's book yesterday, day for yesterday. You should read that mm. 50 Cent's new book. It's called Hustle mm. and Hustle Smart. If you read yeah, that, seen it. your perception of that guy will change. So we reviewed the book we'll in change. our Instagram group day for yesterday. It was crazy. So content, be consistent with it. Teach people first before you ask them to buy anything. This evening, I was going works. out to buy some groceries. I was listening to a podcast, and I was talking about this coffee store in America. They are just teaching you how to make cappuccino, how to use a French press, how to use the drip method. They teach people but before they sell their subscription on coffee. Nigeria is buy, 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 yeah. buy, buy. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta help people first. Yes. Help before selling and educate. So that's mm -hmm. one thing. Educate. Yes. The second thing is that as a creative, you must have products. You must have products. Mm. You must have products. Your product is your production. What have you produced? What has come out of you? What have you produced? I mean, I told you, I have six books. It is a product. I have a coaching business. It is a product. I have a subscription business. It is a product. You need to have a product or a service. That's how people buy. Jesus said, I will bless the work of your of hand. Your hand. So that was, I will bless what has come out of your hand. Out not of your you. Intention. Nobody gets mm -hmm. rich by their intentions. They get rich by <laughs> their results. That's right. High five. <laughs> <laughs> by their results. So, hey, I have a content calendar. If it's three times a week, stick to it. Now, another reason why that is important is that when you are consistent with your content, you activate a behavioral economics law called the availability heuristics. Now, availability heuristics is a very powerful concept. I teach it every time. Here's what it means. If both of us are standing at Lekki Phase 1 right now, two of us are just standing, and I said to you that, uh, Mom, and there's a young lady in front of us, and uh, she's tall, her hair is cascading down her shoulder like a Niagara Fall, her skin is glowing like the morning sun. She's kind of Christian. She's wearing a Christian Louboutin shoes. She's wearing a kind of Hermes bag. 
Our makeup is on fleek. Everything is on point. And I ask you, is this young woman an astronaut or a banker? Nine times out of ten, you will tell me she's a banker. You know <laughs> why? Because you see more bankers than astronauts. True or false? Hmm, true. And but now, but the reality that she's a, she's a, she's an astronaut. Why? The banker is more available. Now, how does this relate hmm. to business? The more available your content is, the easier for the people to make a buying decision when they want to make a buying decision around your industry. That is how it works. The problem is that Doris Essien, you, you need to check out Doris. Doris, I worked with Hi, Doris. Doris. Doris is an amazing multi-level marketing coach. She's, she's a medical doctor. Mm. I started working mm. with Doris. She had only maybe like 100 and something followers on Instagram. She just eats a thousand plus followers. She's intense. That's what I talk about work. She's always doing Instagram live, pushing, pushing. She has written a book, doing amazing. You know? So everybody said, put in the work. So the more available you are, the more available your content is. Let me ask you a question. If you are always scrolling on Instagram, and every day you see a lady teaching people how to pose for pictures. She's already like posing. You're like, ah, what is, what is my video of this poser? Every day mm -hmm. posing. And then one day your, your younger sister who makes clothes and says to you, ah, sister, I have a new collection. Do you know of anybody that can teach my girls how to pose? Who will ah, come to your mind first? Straight is now. You lady. It's, the, <laughs> it's her now. <laughs> that is it. Mm -hmm. That is it. That's right. That is it. That is it. But the problem is that most creatives, when the blessing is coming, they are not there. They are not mm. there. Uh, uh, they, are, uh, uh. That, they are doing dreadlocks. They are doing dreadlocks to look more creative. I wish uh, my own creatives don't do dreadlocks. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow. When the blessing is coming, they are not there. They are not there. You, know, you have to consistently show up. You yeah. cannot, you like cannot go to bed. Is, yes, and like an elder said, they need to collaborate. Um, creative, oh, yes. you should be doing Instagram live like this with other people. Oh, yes. Especially those who you believe they are, they, they are doing business, people that are related to your, to your target market. You know how many Instagram lives I've done like this this week? You are the second person. That's why we always say, I relate. It's collaboration. Mm. Collaboration. It is collaboration. Coach, we say I that coach, a lot in our community. I coach, I coach one of my one of my clients the other day. I told her, "Wait, I come and teach in my Telegram group. My Telegram group has three hundred forty-seven people. My Telegram group." She called me this morning. She was screaming, "Coach, I just created two clients because I gave her an assignment. Go and create your first set of clients." Why? She came to my platform. She collaborated with me. Now she has created a client. How many creatives are collaborating? Mm. How many? How many? How many? Oh, That's and why they need communities like Bell Africana. Yes, yes. Collaboration is very, 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 very essential. Very key. Then, then come up with products. Come up with products. Amazing products. Why do we go to IKEA? IKEA is a creative. They have great products. Why do we go yes, to they do. buy stuff? It's great product. And guess what? It is design. It's called design thinking. Design. Why did I buy this bottle of so, water? Bella, Bella. Do you know why? I yes. It? First of all, why? because of the bottle. It's so beautiful. It's it, so it beautiful. Is. It actually is. Why? Look at this. It's why? so slender and very nice. Yes. Like a, like a beautiful woman. It's so fine. It's the design. <laughs> it is. And I bought this, then I bought this bottle as well. I bought this one from Ikea. See, I collect bottles like this. Two bottles. I bought this one when I went for summer. Last holiday. What? It's not because of the content. It's the bottle. It's, it's the, the bottle. Design. It's the bottle. So it's the design that makes people buy. And that's, that's what we right. have as a creative. Yes. Yes. Okay, so design products come up with beautiful things because why, Bella? The perceptual, the perceptual power of a product is more powerful than the functional hmm. power of a product. Now, please say that again. The perceptual power of a product 
is more hmm. powerful than the functional power of a product. Now, look at the perceptual power of the product, Bella. This is yes. the functional power of the product. Functionally, it gives you water. That's the function, right? Yes. Perceptually, is the design. Because when people come to my house now, if they say, I want to drink water, I won't hesitate to pour water in this beautiful bottle. They say, oh hmm. my God, I like this bottle. <laughs> And that becomes a signal. That's why people buy. It's a signal mm. to tell my, my face of, oh, Paul is very creative. Paul is very stylish. Paul is uber stylish. That's a signal. We buy things because of their signaling power. That's why Instagram will tell you, place your location. So when you're on holiday, you put it uh, Dubai, London. So you can tell your haters that you are not dead yet. Tell your haters. That you are moving forward. I don't know if I'm making sense to somebody. <laughs> you are making sense. Oh my God. <laughs> you are. You are. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much. So, just mm. to recap, you know, some of the strategies you shared content marketing is very, mm. very key. You must very have easy. a product, you have to collaborate. Yeah. Woo. Awesome. Amazing. Okay. Yeah. So, next question How has the pandemic? changed the ways you know the way sales is being done how has the pandemic changed it which has changed it first of all people now realize that oh i don't need if i don't need to be physically present to mm. buy a product because for most creatives somebody must come to your shop to measure themselves to make that call yes. that's to right look at that furniture so right now I'm coaching a guy right now. He's designing an app whereby you will measure yourself from your house. <laughs> you, yourself. you will measure yourself. We need that app. Show it for you. They will deliver it to you. So the pandemic is forcing everybody to rethink their strategy. That's right. Like I told someone that this pandemic did not happen, did not happen to you. It happened for you. Mm. It didn't happen to you. It happened for you. Because like Marcus Aurelius, he was the emperor of Rome. I like it reading a bit of history. I like the Stoics. I like Epictetus. I like Marcus Aurelius. I like reading those. I like Seneca. I like reading those kind of books a lot. I like reading the meditations of Marcus Aurelius. He said that the impediment to action advances action. That what stands in the way becomes the way. Mm. Mm. Oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! The what stands in the way? To action mm. advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. So mm. it looks like COVID nineteen is standing in the way of some people's progress. But I submit to you that no, hmm. it has become the way. But it depends on the eyes through which you are using to look at it. Hmm. It's about perspective. It so is. What creatives need is a perspective adjustment. This pandemic has forced most of you to understand copywriting. This pandemic has forced most of you to understand Zoom. This pandemic has forced most of you to understand digital marketing. It mm. has puzzled a few to, to take uh, email marketing seriously now. So it's mm. not happening to you. It is happening for you. It has for made you. you develop new skills. Right now, one skill that you must develop is the ability to talk on screen to convince people. Yes, your ability to sell on Zoom, sell on Instagram Live like this is a different skill entirely because you cannot see the person. The capacity to be persuasive, to be seductive, to be convincing. <laughs> on right. screen, it is a skill. You have to it learn is. it now. Even though you'll be hungry, you'll be hungry, you'll be hungry. You'll be hungry. <laughs> okay, it creative. is. It is. Me, it I, is. I, 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 I'm conceptualizing in the atmosphere. <laughs> you're concept, concept, you hungry, you're unconceptualized. <laughs> You must, 
<laughs> you must you must sell hmm mm. it didn't happen to you it happened for you it so it's just another you. distraction yeah exactly even if you're mm. right now if your girlfriend left you because there's no money again eh it should be a, the obstacle is the way what mm. stands in the way becomes the way that means that adjust your perspective a better girl will come to your life That's if correct. it's a man that left your life you're a creative now nah, your boo will be your be your ba be your ba 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 your baby your baby your baby boo ba 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 if they left <laughs> it didn't happen to you it happened for you for you mm, because don't someone better is coming from being creative wow you are allowed that to allow to stop your creative juices from flowing mm, right, your, your purpose is your purpose nothing can your stop purpose. you yes yeah i say that i use that word a lot that word perspective mm. is my word and yes. it is in every every area yes. of life in relationship in business some, in everything bella you have some heavy weight in watching your fina chichi is an amazing <laughs> parenting coach hi fina chichi you Hello. should have her your, you should have her on your show All right. All your, all your, your creative that have children eh, or about to have children, eh, you correct their brain. <laughs> Man, I will not lie you. That thing is real. It's, yeah. it's correcting because your of, brain is very of, real. Because of this woman, eh, I don't shout at my children anymore. Ha. I need I need to I, yeah. I'm going to holler at her cuz I, I became I a mother last year. Anyway. I became yeah. a mompreneur so I can relate. You need to you need, to you need to you need to connect with her. You will stop shouting at your children. I, I'm not even shouting yet. She's one. The shout is just about to begin. <laughs> you now have three boys. Hey, I hail you, sir. I hail. <laughs> amazing, amazing, powerful. You've been, you've been, you've been dishing out some powerful, powerful responses. Thank you so much. So we still yeah. have a few questions to go. If you have questions, sure. please leave it in the comment section or use the question mark there. Leave your questions so that. Um, how can respond to every single one another word. thing again I, i want to also add this to this that right okay yeah. we're yes. talking about that the perceptual value of a product is mm -hmm. a lot of times more powerful, more powerful than, than the functional, functional value power product. yes because people are not as rational as you think now you mm. need to advise you need to advise your creative you must always look good you must dress well you must I say I went to see a billionaire the other day. The first thing the billionaire told me, say Paul I like your suit. He's a multi billionaire. He has more money than me, 500,000 times. But my suit made him pay attention. Why? Mm. Perception. Tell all those creatives, when they not be just wearing hoodie. Are you Mark Zuckerberg? Are you Richard Lebo? Are you Richard Lebo? I don't understand. <laughs> say <laughs> Uh, I'm a I'm a creative. Uh, I'm a creative. You will not know dress well. This is Nigeria. This is not. This is not Nigeria. They will just, their car will be dirty. Say, ah, uh, I'm a creative. Eh, you are creative. You are yeah. creative. But you want to design something for a man that's not a creative. Remember, their perceptual value is yes. more powerful. Functional. The functional the value. Door, but yeah, but the the eyes. Appeal to the man. Yes. Why did I yes. Why did that bottle of water again for 900 naira? Yes. It's the perceptual, the perceptual value, value. Not the functional. This is the functional water functional. No. That is very perceptual. true. Perceptual beauty. That is Not very true. You. That is very very true. Take yeah 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 picture. Who dress well? Eh yeah, people understand. <laughs> I'm a creative. <laughs> I'm in the atmosphere of ideas. You are not well. I'm going to look at you. I right. mean, you're 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 on point. Yes, I mean your eyes. Your eyes, like the the. A few days ago, we had Dr. Toluanimi who broke down mindset. You know the way the thoughts, the the way you think in business, and he mentioned something about your eyes is the gateway to your imagination. So it's what 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 is what's going on in your mind. You know, translates to to the actions that you take. Also, next question. I'm ready. It's so deep. So thank you for that. Um, now to my next question. Okay, what would never change about sales in this decade and years to come? What would never the change only, about the sales? The thing that will never change that sales about the person who is by not about you. Human beings are hmm. selfish. Bella, 
Bella, if you take a picture with your father, your mother, and all your brothers and sisters, and they give you that picture, the person you look out for first is yourself. Mm. We are selfish beings. There's nothing wrong with that. Though. You say, love your neighbor as you love yourself. So when you are selling anything to anybody, forget about yourself. Focus on the person. What do they want? What do they need? If you give them what they want, you will get what you need. The beauty thing about saying that give, give people what they want, you will definitely get what you need. That's Your right. job as a creative is to study what does my customer want. That will never, ever change. So I ask all creative. I humbly submit that all of them must have a customer avatar. Yes. I have a customer avatar. Her name is Ada. Yes. I created a persona. Why? Because most of my clients are women. Bella, 90% mm -hmm. of my coaching clients are women. 90% of women, people in my Telegram group, are women. Yes. 95% of my followers on Instagram are women. Women, I don't know, they just come. Last year, I did, I trained 460 women for a bank on sales. So, I give my avatar a name. I call her Ada, and I always ask Ada in my head, what kind of problem does Ada face right now in her business? Then I begin to develop content around the problem that Ada is facing. And yes. that's why they respond. So, tell all of them, design it. I learned that from Vogue. Have a customer avatar. Mm -hmm. all place, I learned it from Vogue magazine. You know, in Vogue office in New York, they have a customer avatar of their typical customer. She's mm. young, she's ambitious, she's beautiful, she's stylish. Driven. Every day they look at that woman's picture and say, what kind of shoes will she like? How can we make her world better? Ooh, what kind of boyfriend does she like? She likes men with abs. Ah. <laughs> they write the article. I tell you. <laughs> what kind of sex does she like? Oh, yeah. Mm. Hot, steamy sex. Ah. <laughs> Do you have a customer avatar? <laughs> and some will because of their religion. Mm. Not in the religion. No. Religion. Mm -hmm. Who is your customer avatar? Do you know? Yes. Yeah. What's their age range? Know, yeah. What's their age range? Mm -hmm. What's their income bracket? That's Where right. Do they live? In Where do NLP, they go to? Where do they visit? I, I am a, yes, I'm a UK mm. certified coach. I'm an NLP practitioner. In NLP, mm. they taught us something called perceptual positioning. Where you put yourself in the position of the person and think from their place. Mm. Yes. Yes. So know who your customer avatar is and think from that place. Think awesome. from that place. Act from that awesome. place. Awesome. Sell from that place. That will never ever change. Find out what they Beautiful. Want. Give them what they want. You get what Bella, think about it. Consistently. Time, mm -hmm. Yes. The first time you met your husband, he was not talking about himself. You know, I'm a smart guy. I'm a guy. <laughs> you know, I'm a rich boy. He was asking you, how was your day? You're so beautiful. Yes, oh now. <laughs> You were feeling happy. He was you know. <laughs> it was me. How will he talk about it? Yeah. <laughs> That's why you like him. Because of course. You felt comfortable around him. Because he okay. made you feel special. That I is agree. how you say. Don't be telling your customer, you know, I've been in business for five years. My father is a demigod. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you for that. Thank you. So is there anything, in your opinion, is there anything that is unsellable? Hmm. There is nothing that is unsellable. Jesus even <laughs> sold us salvation. Jesus sold us salvation. He even confused the Satan's brain. He said, the Bible said, if they had known, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Hmm. Remember, I said, remember I said, the obstacle is the way. What yes. stands in the way becomes the way. Becomes the way. Ah. If Satan had not, we wouldn't have killed him. He would have. He would have. Not he would not have. Touch guy, not touch <laughs> so what, your, your, your problem is your salvation right now. Is your, oh my hmm. God. Hmm. Oh, what stands in your oh. way becomes the way. Becomes hmm. the way. Everything hmm. is sellable. There's Everything is sellable. Absolutely nothing. 
yeah. everything is selling. Yeah. The next question. So I just have three more questions for you, okay? You have that time. You have 15 minutes to go. I could go. Time, you know? I'm looking. <laughs> Are there things one must take note of when huge sales come in? You know, when people say, I want to go viral, I want to go viral. Okay, now you go viral. Sales has come. Bam. What would you say? What are the things to take note of when you have that sales spike? Yeah, I think your delivery system is important. I've mm. experienced that myself. Very important. You must have a strong relationship with your courier company. You must have a strong relationship with your payment gateway. Is it Paystack you're using? Is it Flutterway? Is it Bank Alert? You must make it seamless. Very easy. Because selling one 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 is not is not the same as when the sales becoming pa, 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 pa. you can't answer all. But if they have a system where they know that once they place the order, the delivery people will deliver it to them, you have less headache. So you must ensure that your back end is sorted. Please, very important right? because the sales will come. The question is, are you ready? Are you ready? Amazing, amazing, very important. Very important. Awesome. Thank you for that. Um, so. Can you just tell me more about, you know, I know you have a course on train quarters. Yes. You know, just tell us a bit about that and how can it be assessed? So it's how can quarters. our audience assess it? It's on train, train quarters right now. The course is 25,000 naira now. But I am okay. at liberty to reduce it. If I can get 10 of your people to say, I want this course, I would crush this course right now. Mm. Mm. Even if it's five people, if they say I want okay. to cause, I can crush it to 20k right now. Awesome. It's a detailed cause on sales. Okay. Also, I have a telegram group that I think everybody should join. It's cheap, it's 12,000 for six months or 6,000 okay. for three months to join. I think the link in my Instagram bio right now is for 6,000 for three months to join. Okay. So what would you give our members? exclusive, our members, our members going it's already, it's already, It's already discounted. So okay, let them do, is let it? Let us do the 12,000 Naira for six, six months. Six months. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to put my account, because that's not on my link. I'll put my account number here right now. If they pay right now, I'll add them to the group. Then I will give them a bonus. My bonus is how to grow from zero to your first 10,000 followers on Instagram. Mm. and make money in the process. I make money from Instagram every day. So if they purchase that right now, they join the group right now, I'll send that to them free of charge. I might book on how to speak well in public. Mm. Yeah, that's a big, that's a big steal. Anybody who's serious should take that. So I'm, I'm putting my account number. Have you heard that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just give you one minute to do that. Seven, five, six, five, two. Mm. It's a GT bank portfolio. So do that right now and then um, you get all the bonuses now. I'll send them to you. Then you can now move it to anybody who has paid. Okay, awesome. And they if you're if you're doing that right now, say that you came from Bell Africana, okay? Yes, yes. So do okay, it right awesome. now. And, uh, you get all the okay. bonuses now. How to go from zero to your first ten thousand flat on Instagram, make money, and my book on fifteen people to speak well in public. So those are great okay. for you for, for twelve hours um, as a skill. Okay. And then we can talk more of the other things that you do that can be discounted for exclusively for Bell Africana members. Uh, yes. What okay. You can do it, what, what you can do is that. Another thing yes. I can do is that if you guys can come together, I can do a Zoom webinar for you guys. I, I would love that. Good. Then, then I can teach well for three hours. Mm. Then I can teach well step by step practical. I think that will help your people a lot. I will open up the votes. Okay. Yes. If they, can, okay. if they can all pay 10, 10 k each, if I get over, if I get up to fifteen of them, I'll I'll show. I'll show. So okay, yeah, we'll talk heavy, more about heavy this. Duty, heavy duty stuff. Awesome. But let them join the sales factory, and they will, they will love it. Okay. Excellent. Woo! This Thank has you. been awesome. I have one more question, and I don't want to. I don't want to go. <laughs> Okay, so last question, right? What would you advise, you know, what advice would you give to creatives in the MSME space? I know you've packed it through mm. all these questions, but I want you to deliver something, you know, for creative, and especially Pick micro, and small niche. businesses. Pick, Pick a niche. niche. Woo! I'm don't be everything to everybody. Yo. 
That's right. Let me say what happened to me. Yeah, yeah. Let me say what happened to me day for yesterday. A guy called me. You know, one thing about competence that when you are good, people call you for all kinds of opportunities. The mm. guy called me. Says he's having problem with his relationships. I said I'm not a relationship coach. It's my wife. I have a happy marriage. I'm married for 13 <laughs> years. My wife is my best friend. My wife is a relationship Amazing. coach. Amazing. My husband too. To my wife. I said, mm. I want to talk to my wife. He paid my wife. You must know yourself. Mm. I cannot help you with your marriage, oh. I can't help you. Oh. <laughs> if it's parenting, I will move you to Fina. You want to talk to your children. You want to move Fina? Me is to sell. <laughs> know yourself. Don't be doing everything. Know yourself. Everything and grow. That's why I don't like the word life coach. How can you be a life coach? Who are you? Jesus is the only life coach. That's right. Pick a mm. niche. The Bible says we know in part, we prophesy in part. You can mm. be everything. Jesus is the life, he's the only life coach. Life is too life big. Coach. So you coach life. You can either be a financial coach, a relationship coach. Don't, what is life coach? I don't understand. Are you Jesus? The Bible says he's the way, the truth, and the life. How can you coach life? Life. I don't understand. Mm. Jesus is life. How can you coach? How can you be a life coach? I don't understand. I don't understand. Hey! You know yourself. <laughs> you want to be a good parent, go and meet Fina. You want to marry mm. eh? for 13 years like me. You want to talk to my wife. Me and Nasa, I, I distribute to people. I'm a distributor. If you want to sell, yeah, I'm going to come. Come and talk, talk to me. Apart from that, know yourself. Know yourself. Know yourself. Know yourself, because know yourself well. If you are everything to everybody, you are nothing to anybody. That's true. <laughs> Yes. I agree. Yes. Yes. It's my wife that's very romantic. My wife is a romantic wallflower. Uh, 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 light. Uh, poem. You know. Love. Candles. Uh, Diffusers. <laughs> village boy like me. Village boy like me. Hey, Jesus. Oh. This guy romance. Hey. Hey. Oh, wow. mm. Don't help us. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Amen. Amazing. Jesus is our life Amen. coach. Know yeah. yourself. Know yourself. That's all. That's Beautiful. All. Amazing. Yeah, do we you. have any, do we have any questions? So pending the time, oh, sir, as you have come to Bell Africana, Bell Africana <laughs> must pass through you. You see the way you raised up that Starbucks. We have someone called Happy Coffee in our community that is promoting Nigerian <laughs> coffee. We oh, have yeah. African oh, businesses oh, that do better, better quality products. So yeah, Bell Africana will pass through you. <laughs> she will sell you coffee and you will drop that Starbucks. You have to pick up Happy Coffee. <laughs> Amy, oh, yes, <laughs> I mean, we have amazing members. Just like you, like just like you said, it's 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 sales, continuous sales, talking, tell, knowing your target audience, and then giving them how to giving them the things that makes their world better. No, amazing. Yes, sir. Yes. To join the Telegram group, they will love it. I will. To meet I will. Other creative, sales other is key. People there. Yes, uh, and guess what? I teach in the group every day like this. Every day, every day for yeah. over two hundred days now. I thought we were on Instagram, we, um, we were on um, WhatsApp. We smashed the limit of WhatsApp. Now we're on Telegram. So hey, tell them. My husband is also a market. is also a digital marketing consultant. He, oh. he teaches on digital marketing. Tobia Shendi. So I mean, uh, having having sales knowledge and having marketing knowledge is 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 priceless. So I will personally join just because I know that I'm coming for you. Anything Bell Africana like this. That's how you be carrying Bell Africana on your head everywhere you go to. <laughs> the way no I be carrying you on my no head. No Allah. Awesome. Thank you no so, so much for such an amazing, so amazing. I mean, it was real and I love it. Thank you so much. Uh, let, Someone is talking to you. Kenna, say, I see you. Book him in the group too. Yes, girl. Yes. Okay. Okay. Lerato, I see you. Okay, now, since Lerato, Lerato has already given affirmation, but that's fine. I'm always looking to drive, to be more driven. And it's amazing. They call me the ginger, they call me the creative mother hen. You can already tell. Uh, we, so, uh, we, we, need to, we need to meet over a cup of coffee, Vicky. We, 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 we have I think to I, I think, We have to. I, 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 I think you're my kind of person. <laughs> I am your kind of person. Honestly, you think you are gingered enough. I will come and ginger you even more than you know. <laughs> 
so beautiful. We'll, oh, we'll talk God. more. We'll talk more outside of this. Thank you so much, Train Quarters. And if you have any costs, I'm sure that you can get on Train Quarters too. Train Quarters yeah. is accessible, and I'm sure you've also had a great experience. Go on Train Quarters, Mr. Paul's um, online course is just for twenty five thousand naira, right? And if yes. you're coming through Bell Africana, if you're more than five, you can get a discount. Yes, so, four children are plenty here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> four children are plenty, my correct? Are plenty here. I see them. Yeah, my but, are plenty. <laughs> amazing. And you know, it, it, it's actually a fact because even on Bell Africana, we have over it, it's ninety percent women too. So it's it's amazing. Yeah. But you know, men, we we are, we are just as driven. Team. Account number is there. Yeah, Account number is there. Please scroll up. Put it, again, put it again, put it again, put it again. So, mm -hmm. so I, I, let me just pitch my own. So I'm not coming for percent as you are, as you are rolling, as the, as you are getting a lot like this, what's going to happen now? You are coming to buy more Belafrikana members products, ba? No problem, why not? I want to see the coffee, I want to see the coffee person. That coffee person, in fact, I will yes. tag her, I will tag you on her page after we're done. She's even celebrating five years today. Nigerian coffee she from really? Taraba. Wow. She's the African coffee uh -uh. queen. How could you not have heard of her? Happy coffee. Ah. Wow. Please. So don't Let worry. Me, I will. Some. I will. And just go on our page. You see amazing things. African owned just businesses, creative, tag me. amazing. Tag, tag me on her. I will. I will. So beautiful. Okay. Thank you so much. God Thank bless you. you. Have a great day. For your time. Your daughter, you too. Your daughter. I will. I will. Your voice I'm hearing. Yes, yeah, it is. Let me just let me let me let me bring her to say hello. We still have five uh, minutes. Okay, we're not rushing. Her, wait, wait, her, wait, wait, wait. Toby, bring her. <laughs> her name is Tereni Olua. She's my personal oh my assistant. God. A blessing, a full oh package God. blessing. You know, when you have a child that does not stress you like this. Oh ah, my God. She? She's fourteen months. Oh my God. She's going to be back now. People say hello. Hello, Hello, darling. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Yes, on, beautiful. Thank you, thank you so much. much. God bless you too.